hi everyone good day for those of you who already know me welcome back <laughs> and for those of you who are new to this phase my name is Chelsea Chandrisa Brooks I am a student from St. Martin and I am currently studying safety and security management in my third year I've been having a discussion on my Facebook in regards to a backlash that happened towards Dutch prosecutors in regards to a few statements that they've said in regards to Sim Martin. I've watched a clip of the video, I had someone translate it properly for me as well. I've been looking for the exact whole entire discussion that the Dutch prosecutor was having, however, I could not find all of it. But based upon the clip that I've seen, in my opinion, I do not see anything wrong with what the Dutch, the Dutch prosecutors have to say in regards to the problems on the island. For the fact that we're only looking at the petty problem as the, the pot calling the, pe the kettle black because they have corruption and we have no the difference is people the difference is they are a country of a wider mass this is a real country not what our island is trying to be for 16 square miles we have too much corruption we have way too much problems in crime is it is it only me but i do have paparazzi feed news feed on my blackberry and i live in the netherlands and it's almost every other day or every day back to back i'm hearing about a robbery killings or some sort of craziness that's happening on the island do i feel my island is a wild wild west yes i do yes i do in comparison to Holland, I can walk on the roads, not saying that I am recommending anyone to do this, but I can walk from town, from the start in Den Haag, all the way to my house without anybody troubling me. I've done it already. But can you do that in, in St. Martin at a late hour, honestly? I'm not saying there are not crazy people on, Sorry, in this country, Holland. I'm not saying that is not the case and that is... But the fact of how crime is controlled on this wide mass in regards to 16, 16 square miles. We should not be talking. We should not even be arguing. Next point. You want to fight or defend your island to the Dutch prosecutors. Let me get real serious and up close and personal for this one. Look at my face, good. Guys, look at me. We have a government. Do we have representatives to represent our island? Has the representatives that we voted in, or maybe they didn't even vote in, because, you know, they have this thing where they just collage and, and come together, cool. Who is representing our, our island and the people that have been made it very embarrassing for us to even be represented as an island come on four years we we can't we we cannot have a government for four years four years really and you want to defend your island and your government themselves cannot even govern themselves really and they want to govern an island the reason why the Dutch prosecutors is possibly looking in on the island is because of our government. Because of the amount of time it has fallen. So my question is, why get mad when you know the island itself? Why not take, why not take the information you're getting and put it to good use and not be like, offended by it? Why? 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 We want our island to progress. This backlash, in my opinion, and again, this is, no sh this is no shade at all, but I'm just stating how I feel. The backlash that we've done, or uh, the backlash that was written, I understand what you're trying to say. However, however, it looks bad as a country because it looks like we cannot take constructive criticism. You cannot tell me look at only this part of the stove and the rest of the stove don't matter according to a comment i got and again it's not shade this is just me being real 
How can you not look at the surrounding message? You're going to just take a little part to your liking and forget everything else. The people wrong. These people are completely wrong. No. No. Our island has problems. And these people are looking for solutions to a 16, to a 16 square mile island having problems. How about we become our own solution, St. Martin? We all know as a community what is happening on our island. Why get mad at our mother country? People who we also know that will tell you themselves, Dutch people will tell you themselves they are blunt and they tell you like it is. Why take it negatively and say, oh, because, you know, you guys have it and we should do it in a decent manner. I see nothing he said in an undecent manner. Whether you're trying to depict St. Martin as a ghetto or not, you guys already made yourself into a ghetto. Why you want to be upset with people telling you the truth now? And people putting it out there in the news feed. Now this is for the island to take serious and turn it around and make positive out of it. Let's prove them wrong by starting with our government. Instead of electing people who already benefits from this situation constantly for years, let us elect people that is going to do something for our island. Do something positive. For example, guys, we had the notion of recycling garbage to make fuel. It was in the plan. Why nobody never continue it? We have a bus system that's supposed to be in a plan. Why nobody never look into it? So we as an island going to continue spending money on beautification for tourists who don't even fully care about the beauty of the island really. They more care and concern about the beaches and the relaxation and the fact that they're just on an island. Not about a bridge, not about big pillars. However, However, we need to be focusing on the people of the island now. That is why the Dutch prosecutors make us a big topic. You understand? And have us and will continue to say negative things about us until we change what is going on. Our government is corrupted. We have a lot of crime for a small island. Too much at that. We have a lot of unprofessionals. Lack education on the island because we have a university but we're shipping out students. Because none of the students want, you know, um, wants to study in our university. It's not a credible. How about if you want to save money and you want to fix stuff, say Martin. Let's work like this. Let's How about we take the money... For beautification and put it towards education and and medical i already argue this where we get the proper professionals ship them down and pay them for our university and then our students cannot complain we find the courses that st martin needs put it in our university then instead of giving students so much scholarships for going outside of st martin you only have to pay book money for, for the students studying in the island. Well, on the island, sorry. How about that? But no, that's a way too complex of thinking. I understand things not going to happen right now. I know things are more complex than it may actually seem. But how about working towards making a change so we could start building long term? And fixing our island. Whoever gets mad at me for making this video and speaking my standpoint on my island. And wants to jeopardize my opportunity of getting a job on the island. My name is Chelsea Chandrisa Brooks. And at the end of these, this year. Next year. I will be a safety and security manager. And nothing is going to stop me from having a job with this degree. It would just be a shame that you jeopardize in your own for having a passion for a change on the island because she's speaking out on the nonsense that is happening. 
and nobody else will, so be it. Your loss on a passionate individual that's coming back to make a change for the island. Your loss. Because that is all I want. A change. A proper change. For the people of the island. Not just the government people. The people of the island. Not just the government people. We have a government building sitting down there just catching dust. Money gone to waste. Money that could have been put into our medical. Money gone to waste. We ain't had to have a round of a, a ring road. The sand ain't still settling in our beautiful salt pond that we destroyed. Our natural salt pond. We had a ring road. Well, money gone to waste. The sand still settling. Money gone to waste. This is why the Dutch prosecutors will forever keep bringing up St. Martin with corruption and crime. Stop looking at the petty stuff. Make a change so these people do not have to talk about our island anymore. And that we are in our rights. If you want to backlash, backlash. When you have a standpoint, you have no government. So don't say nothing until you get a good representative. That will last the four consecutive years that they need to serve for the island. And that they actually do something. That being said, guys, have a blessed day. Really think about what I say.